So a buddy of mine, uh, Daniel, has been trying to convince me that, hey, try Falco X is much, much better than Beta Flight. So I'm like, it doesn't really make sense because all of the YouTubers uh, have all these tutorials on Beta Flight. There's tuning methods, there's um, all the new versions of Beta Flight, which comes out every few months. Falco X seems stagnant. It's developed by Flight One. It's proprietary, it's not open source. So nobody can really tinker with it. Is it really that good? So I'm like, okay, let me let me try it out. Let me try it out. Uh, so let's see whether I will learn something today. Hey guys, I'm back here today with the review of Flight Controller. Uh, given to me, actually I bought from Daniel Zaini. I'm going to connect his uh, YouTube channel in the description. But as you can see here, this looks very different from the normal flight controller I've been using. So pre uh, I always been uh, using beta flight flight controllers, but for this one, this is the Revolt OSD Lite. And you can actually run Flight 1's proprietary configurator uh, which is the Falco X so Daniel has been telling me oh go with Falco X you don't have to tinker with PIDs you don't have to do all the uh, filtering that beta flight requires you can just go in and pick a preset with Falco X and you're immediately flying a very very stable well-tuned quad so I'll see whether that's actually true or not but the config the actual layout of the pads looks look very different some are similar with beta flight, but the differences are going to be evident when you have to deal with these pads right here and that right there. So first, if you want to connect to VTX, you'll connect to the top pads right there with the camera. This is normal, just like any beta flight, where you connect the RX, the power, the ground for the VTX and the power. But here and here are the pads for the receiver. So if you actually wanted to use a crossfire receiver versus a um, free sky, so free sky, you would actually connect the middle pad with the inverted pad. So you're going to bridge those. But if you wanted to connect crossfire uh, spectrum or free sky R9, you would connect the middle pad with a normal pad. So basically it just says, all right, the TX either will be inverted or not inverted, right? But the receiver will be connected to TX1 and then everything else uh, connects uh, similarly where you connect the uh, signal, the plus and the um, ground, All right? For this right here is where you connect the, you have to choose whether your ESC uh, has uh, four current sensors like BL32, you will connect the top two pads if you actually only have BL Heli S or BL 32 with only one current sensor, you would connect the bottom and the middle pad. So right now it's not connected. So you don't worry about telemetry, then you wouldn't have to connect it. So the the bottom section right there will just be the uh, parts of the connector. So you actually have the starts off with the VBAT in, the TX current, uh, that's the uh, for the reading the current, the ground, motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four, and then the ground and the five volt in. So everything else looks very, very similar. So you have the MPU 6000, you have the uh, OSD, uh, and then you have the micro USB connector so bottom uh, underneath here is just the replicant of the pads on top. So just in case you lifted any of the pads, you can just use the smaller pads at the bottom. Granted, it is quite difficult to solder on, but at least that's good that you have a backup. So there's not much to speak about this particular flight controller. I'm going to connect it to a Hobby Wing ESC and put it on my build and start tinkering around with the Falco X configurator. Okay, so while I was about to tinker myself and I realized that I might as well just ask the master himself, Daniel Zaidi, who supplied me the flight controller on how to configure the Flight 1. So the Flight 1 Falco X configurator actually is a, a text-based wizard where it actually just gives you instructions and with your controller connected to your bounded to your quad and then connected to the computer, 
you just follow the instructions and put in the stick command. So in this case right now, he's calibrating the sticks and he's just following the instructions to assign the throttle, the aileron, the elevation, the roll. So just move the throttle stick, move the yaw stick, move the roll stick, move the pitch stick. So all of that will be assigned. And then after that will be uh, to configure the quad. It just starts off with assignment of motors. But before that, it will uh, give you all these warning signals. So in a bit, you'll see that it asks that uh, that all the sticks commands are all configured. So now, how is the configuration of the props? Is it going to be props out or is it going to be props in? In this case, uh, Daniel has his props out, so he's going to uh, your left. All right, and then after this, you're going to have this warning sign that says, okay, now we're going to test the motors. Are your props off? And if it's indeed off, roll right and your left. And with your batteries plugged in, we should be able to, after we confirm that, the motor should spin. Okay, let's see whether it works or not. Oh, motors are spinning. Okay, all four motors are spinning. In, uh, so after this is all about the another 10 steps probably just to configure motor 1 until motor 4. But without further ado, let's just get into the flight footage. So here what we're going to try to see is the differences between a quad with beta flight versus Falco X. So I don't have the footage for beta flight, I only have the footage for this Falco X right of the box. Uh, we're trying to look for any bounce back, we're trying to look for any jitters, any vibrations, uh, any prop wash. I can see slight vibration but it is probably coming from the uh, frame itself. This is not the best frame HELLC light but Right out of the box, for a beginner, this doesn't look too bad. There's no uh, tuning needed compared to Beta Flight. If you start just started off with the default settings, you will see immediately you'll have some a little bit of bounce back, a little bit of prop wash, even with 4.28. But with Falco X, you probably can just go ahead and fly without any tuning needed. For advanced pilot though, uh, probably it's better to study Falco X a little bit more. So that's it for now. Try Felco X and see the difference. <laughs>